DJ Chark has announced that he's staying for his senior season. Obviously, that's good news. Uh, I was watching the bowl game and considering Trayvon Doral and Malachi Dupree being bigger names, I was a bit surprised when there was some talk about Chark in some ways being the best wide receiver on the field. Uh, talking about Malachi Dupree, he still has a decision to make. He came out of high school with a huge, enormous reputation, five-star guy, <laughs> uh, talent through the ceiling. Uh, if you watch the bowl game, he made like three just ridiculous catches, whether it was contorting his body along the sideline or just reaching back with one hand and bringing in the football, uh, seven catches for a buck 39 against Louisville. And because the numbers weren't huge, that was always, um, accredited to the quarterback issues for Dupree and, Dur uh, Trayvon Durrell. But with Dupree, maybe that's not the complete story in regards to some of his lack of production. No, I think he's a player that could benefit a lot from returning. I, I don't know what he, he plans to do. And, you know, I certainly wish the young man well and whatever he, he decides to do. But, you know, he's he's a player that's really struggled a lot with press coverage and with physical corners and, and getting separation. Uh, LSU's had to play him in the slot a lot to kind of get around that a bit. High point the ball as well for a receiver who's that tall. You'd think he'd be able to, you know, you'd throw it up and he'd go get it. Hasn't always worked out for him and been really inconsistent with his hands at times, especially this year. So the first half of this year, he got benched at one point. And, you know, I don't think it's crazy to suggest that DJ Sharp was the best receiver on this team this year. And he has a chance to really be featured in, in um, Matt Canada's style of offense because he likes to really get his wide receivers involved in the running game. You know, Pitt, they had James Conner, but their second leading rusher was Quadri Henderson, a, a five foot eight slot receiver who just had good speed, and so they would hand it to him on jet sweeps a lot. And LSU did that with Shark a, a, a good bit this year. He had a, a long touchdown run against one team, and he, 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 he ran the ball a few times against some other teams, but not to that extent that, that Kenner did it at Pitt. So I think, um, I think Shark could be a, a good player to, to plug into that kind of a role, and that still leaves an opening for Dupree to be your go-to guy down the field. And – I do think that a big senior year with some more consistent quarterback play and, and an offense that's just more productive overall could help him a lot. You know, I, I'm sure he, he's definitely an NFL talent. There's no question about that. But I think a year of consistent production of, of improvement in those areas would, would be really good for him. Yeah, Kadri Henderson at Pitt uh, was usually uh, utilized in those jet sweeps uh, with Matt Hannett as the offensive coordinator and made a huge impact in, in some of the bigger wins that Pitt had uh, over Penn State and Clemson. Eight and four for LSU. I know that's a disappointment for LSU fans, but uh, like we talked about before we hit the record button, Billy, uh, the metrics tell us that based on the schedule and the opponent and the domination along the line of scrimmage, this was still a tremendous football team that finished 13th ranked in the country and now have a coaching staff in place that has a resume and a track record and a coach that is definitely dedicated um, based on his track record. The, the kids love this guy uh, wherever he's gone. So he's definitely doing something right. And it'll be interesting now that he's got the full off season to, uh, to build something and get his program in place for the entire schedule coming up. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm optimistic. I, like I said, I, I think with, LSU schedule and, and what they're losing, it might be a, you know, a, a more difficult road to hoe, but they're going to have a shot against everybody they play. Um, you know, some of the, the, the road games, I, I think are some teams like Tennessee are going to be down a little bit, but obviously it's still, it's still a tough trip to make and, and you're going to go to Alabama again, but it sets up to be, I think, a fun year, and, and they, they, there's still some big fish out there they can close in and recruiting, some instant impact guys that can help them right away. And it's, it, I feel there's definitely, I think, a sense of optimism right now in the program, and I think that's good. And I, it, there. Plus, you also have Darius guys coming back, and, and he, he's going to be every bit the, the Heisman candidate that Leonard Fournette was last year. So. We'll see where that where that goes with us in 2017. All right, talking LSU football with Billy Gomilla from SB Nations and the Valley Shook. Billy, we always appreciate the insight. Anytime.